Today on the channel, we're back out with another Super 7 Thundercats unboxing, this time with a twist as we got the Deluxe Edition Lion O. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! here and welcome back to the channel for another Super 7 Deluxe unboxing and review and today in our crosshairs we got lion -O, the leader of the Thundercats but for all your lion -O, Thundercats Super 7 needs hit up Entertainment Earth use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% of course on all in stock items anything over $99 does ship free. Got to get a deal out there. You can, of course, also go to the Super 7 website. Put in code Kyle P at checkout to support this very YouTube channel. Appreciate the support over there. And, of course, we're going to do this unboxing like we do all the other unboxings on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And this is something new from the Super 7. Of course, we've seen Ultimate Editions. We've seen some of their Sofubi type stuff. We've seen their reaction figures. But now... We got deluxe figures, and I guess to make it really easy and dumb it down, they're dumbed down ultimates is what they are. They're the ultimate style figures, not as many accessories, uh, no extra heads, things like that. Little slimmer, smaller packaging design, and with that comes a little bit cheaper price point. Instead of the $55 to $60, we're about $35. Now this Lionel, for instance, hitting Target stores right now. I don't know if they're 100% going to be a Target exclusive going forward, or if it's just a limited time thing or what have you, but right now you can't find these at Target if you're after they're looking for these. I've been finding them pretty regularly at my Target store. So I feel like we've been here before, but it also feels a little bit different. So we'll see what happens in this unboxing. We'll, of course, compare it to other Ultimate lion -O Thundercats figures later on in this video. So stay tuned to that. But without further ado, let's check out the packaging. Blister card, old school style packaging here. Thundercats in black, uh, black packaging here with kind of that artwork behind there, that kind of starburst, whatever you want to call it. Classic Thunder lo Thundercats logo up there, Super 7 logo. Then you got that new Deluxe logo. They're calling these Deluxe figures. We know Conan the Barbarian is coming to this. There's a monkey in this part of this. I assume a lot more figures in the future. So we'll see what happens there. Really, at the end of the day, what is this? This is getting the most out of your molds. How do you get this stuff back out there with a twist? Trying to make more money to fund other things in the company, I think, is what's going on there. And it helps to have a retail partner like Target jumping in on this one. Thundercats logo, lion -O as well. Uh, 14 and up on this one. 13-year-olds, you're out of luck. Get the heck out of here. You can't be touching this. I wouldn't even look at it if I was you. Uh, Deluxe on the side down here. Same thing on the side. And then we get a classic Thundercats uh, painting back there whatever you want to call it, artwork it does look a little faded and a little like it's not as crisp and clear as i would like it to be could be just me uh, but we do got that there but we're going to pull this off the card just as easy as that packaging comes right off see you later goodbye see you later goodbye behind the back the rare behind the back and then we got old Lionel right there. We do got the uh, Sword of Thundera. And then we do got the Claw Shield. But that's it. No extra heads. No extra hands. Uh, none of those bells and whistles with this one. So uh, very interesting. But if you're not a huge Thundercats fan, this might be okay for you. Because I want Lionel represented in my collection. I just don't want to go all out, spend the $55, uh, whatever the price may be in this day and age. This is something different. This could get you in the ball game. Or at least in the ballpark. We'll call it that much at least. Pull Lino out. See you later. Goodbye. And very interesting. We'll dive into it. But first, let's start with the Sword of Omens right here. It's your typical Sword of Omens. Silver blade, silver throughout. You got the Eye of Thundera right there. Give me sight behind sight. Behind. Yeah, that's what I want. I want the sight. So, got that going on. We do get the Claw Shield. And this does... Does it fit over the hand? It does not fit over the hand. The hand should be removable. And it is... You just slide that over the hand. So you remove the hand and put that on there if you want to. I do like that. But, uh, very interesting with the claw shield. Very cool. Always love the claw shield. I was a kid that had very few Thundercats. I had Mumra. I had Slythe. That was about it. Had a buddy that had a lot of them. Loved going to his house playing with the Thundercat toys. But you couldn't get everything as a kid, unfortunately. 
so I could not. But a very gold claw shield here for Lionel. But now we're getting down to the figure. And first thing I thought when I first saw this, and I still think it to this day, a very, very pale Lionel figure. He is very pale. They're saying he's more animated, uh, classic animation style. I guess so. I don't know. And I guess we'll compare them all. We'll talk about it when that time comes. But man, he feels very, very pale, especially with that red hair, that bright, fiery red hair. He really reminds me of Bozo the Clown is what he reminds me of with that fiery red hair against the white and stuff. Shout out to Bozo in the grand prize game. Oh my gosh. Every morning I'd watch that back in the day. So shout out to him, of course. Uh, but it does feel like Lino. It does look like Lino. There's still no mistake in who this is if you see it. Got the Lionel face paint there looking good. Uh, you got the body armor and all that kind of stuff. He even has the Thundera Championship belt around his waist. Undefeated. Never lost his belt, as we do know. Looks good on him with the Thundercats logo. Now you do got the little peg on the side for the claw shield, but there's no way to store this claw shield here. So that's a little reuse going on that makes no uh, sense with this one here. So that's a little misdetailed. I guess if you're really crazy about it, you could shave that down if you wanted to. Choose your own adventure. Got those pale legs that haven't seen the sun. He's a jeans guy most of the time, apparently. Uh, big old blue boots going on with the white piping looking very good. Articulation, arms all the way around. Bicep cut. Single jointed elbow, side to side, hands back and forth, side to side, two gripping hands on Lino. Hula hoop at the top, plus traditional waist, a little looser in the traditional waist there. A little bit of splits, not much. Legs do go up. Single jointed knee, oh my gosh, very tight. There we go. Side to side, back and forth. Got the usual articulation for Super 7 Ultimates there. No boot cut on this one, but you do get ankles back and forth, side to side, up and down for old Lino. Should fit on a Mattel ringside collectible stand. Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%, of course, at ringside collectibles. And the Deluxe Lino does fit on the stand there. So interesting take on Lionel. interesting take on business practices taking this one to target cheaper price point it's going to be interesting how this one works out could these possibly go to clearance in the future are they going to be more like NECA where we don't see a whole lot of NECA clearance could that be the same for these so there's a lot of unanswered questions on this line and I'm very interested to see what other ultimates will get this deluxe treatment in the future we know Conan the Barbarian is around the corner who else could we end up getting? And does the Thundercats line go on? Like I said, we got Monkey in. We'll unbox him on the channel uh, sooner rather than later. Stay tuned for that one. Subscribe, of course. But could we get all the Thundercats re-released in this line? It's going to be very interesting to pay attention to. But let's grab some of these other Lionos. We do got the OG Lion-O, the first one we received, of course, uh, way back when, when this line did start. Of course, kind of a rehash of the Mattel version back in the day. But I will say, still my favorite lion -O from Super 7. Then you got one that's very iconic to me. It is based on the toy back in the day. And like I said, I always wanted those toys. Loved playing with this toy, the old original LJN version when I was a kid. So this one really feels nostalgic for me. We got that Red Evil exclusive. We got the Ice lion -O as well. So we've had quite a few lion from the Super 7 waves uh, over the last couple of years, as we can see here. I will say this new one here, he's not as muscled up. He doesn't look quite as muscly as these other ones there. So there is some differences as far as that goes. Maybe the pale skin tone color makes him feel a little bit smaller. You know, they always say you look better with a tan. So maybe that's what's going on as well. Uh, but there's enough differences here to be dangerous. I feel there's enough differences to pick it up to put with all these other versions of Lion-O but is it my favorite version it is not my favorite version I'm still going to go to this very cool one here this is what I imagined as a kid playing with Lion-O and then this one for nostalgia purposes and he comes in somewhere in the mix with these other two for me if I was ranking Lion-O's maybe we do a top five Lion-O Super 7 on the channel we'll see what happens there maybe in the future who knows but there it is, the deluxe version of lion -O. Be really interested to hear your guys and gals, especially the gals, uh, get your take on this figure. Is it a pickup for you, a pass, a long game? Is it better or worse than expectations? Really would love to hear your thoughts on this new deluxe line from the Super 7 Ultimate, uh, of course, company there. So let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. We got videos every single day and then some. We get even more content for you, of course, over on Patreon. Patreon, best way to support this YouTube channel. You can also support the channel, prestes.com, search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget, social media, Sir Paul 64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads and on Instagram. So for Lionel and the Thundercats, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.